What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Guys, how we doing today? We got Market Talk Tuesday. Another video for you guys going over the market. What's going on with roster update, um, roster predictions, all that nonsense. As you can see, I got a ton of stubs. We just popped packs in our last video. Getting ready for 2K, baby. Guys, get ready. If you're watching this vid and you're a 2K fan, go drop the like button because when 2K comes out, this channel is going to change. We're going to post three to five vids a day. We're not going to slack. We're going to post every day. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I love baseball. I love baseball. I know everything about baseball. I know every fantasy player, every fantasy stat, everything. Um, but honestly, I'm getting bored of this game. I'm going to be real with you guys. I do pay attention to it, but I'm simply just not in the mood to play this game anymore. Because first of all, I'm not the best at it, and I hate losing. In 2K, it's different. I win a lot. And I don't lose. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Market Talk Tuesday. Let's get into it. So, um, right now, let's just check what they're going to drop. I'm curious on what they're going to drop on Friday. I'm pretty sure they do have a roster update. Let's check. Roster update 815. Um, that has passed. So, there is no roster update this week. There was a roster update last week. We already did that. Went over it. So, we got the six inning moments. Signature teams reveal. So, with that said... Let's get into market talk. Let's see what's going to happen. So Friday, it's looking like they're going to drop packs on Friday. What packs? Nobody knows. It's a secret. So what's going to happen? I'm thinking market crash or stub sale. It's one of those. Stub sale happens. This is what you do. So if a stub sale happens, you sell all your players either before or after. Why I say before or after? This is what I'm going to say. So if you sell before, this is what's going to happen. So you, if the sub sale gets dropped, Somebody like me, Gomes, or another MLB The Show YouTuber will drop a video on how to make stubs because of the stub sales coming. So, with that said, if any of us drops a video, usually people sell players right before the stub sale. What happens is the market goes up crazy. If you see the markup go markup go markup the market go up crazy, you simply sell all your players when it's up a lot before the stub sale hits. When the stub sale hits. People are actually going to go down a little bit just because of the crazy market. Everybody runs to the market and sells their players and they go up a lot. So with that said, you could wait for the stub sale to drop, but you'll make the most profit right away selling your cards. So right when they drop the news of stub sale, get on the auction. Uh, I would say like 20 minutes to an hour later, go sell your cards because they're actually going to drop because everyone ran to the stub sale. Everyone knows it's coming. So everyone prepared for it already. So quick way to make stubs that way um right now but it's looking like the market currently let's get into it i have not looked at the market all day i'm going to tell you what i think so right now the new mike piazza so right away off the bat the the six inning program cards have dropped a ton um a lot of cards are around the same price let's look alomar has went up a lot of the old inning collections have went up a lot wagner went up a lot so right now it does look like the market is pretty high um the market is actually very high right now it's not a bad time to sell even if they drop a stub sale it's still not a bad time to sell right now you won't make that many stubs market's definitely high to be a ryan braun still yes the market is high so what i recommend doing right now stub sale or not i honestly recommend selling now and here's why so on friday they're gonna probably no they're definitely gonna drop something we don't know yet they're gonna drop some type of pack some type of crazy solo something so with that said it's a good time to sell now and pick up when packs come out why do i say this so every friday every or sometimes tuesday they drop usually headliners they could drop something even crazier i think something crazier is coming no one knows yet though i think there's a stream thursday so right now wow that ken griffey 97 is 40k that is insane um I recommend Omar Vizquel is one of 8K. The market is very high. This is what you do. Right now, I'm going to show you my team. I have a ton of investments. So this is what I'm doing. I have Trey Turner. Let's check his price. I say he goes diamond next update 100%. So let's see. Trey Turner. He's at 1,300 stubs. Right now, if you go look at his stats, he's playing very well. He's hitting the ball like crazy. I think he's going to go to at least 84. I think potential diamond next roster update. What I'm doing, I have 50 Trey Turners. This is how I'm going to make stubs. This is how you guys are going to make stubs. So what you should do, I'm going to try to pick up 100 Trey Turners. I'm not even kidding right now. 
try to get at least 50 in your binder because before the season ends, he's going to go diamond. Right now, with his 1,400 stubs, you got to go buy. Um, he's way too cheap. If you can even get him for 1,090, that's even better. So right now, go buy a bunch of Trey Turners. I really, really think he's going to go diamond. So with that said, that's the best investment right now to make stubs. You're going to make a ton of stubs on Trey Turner once he goes diamond. I honestly think he's going to go diamond. His stats right now over the last month have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely worth a grab. Now, what also I'm going to say is I'm going to show you my team. It's mostly that. So pretty much at this stage of the game, um, pretty much all you guys have Nat teams. Like you guys have all these free players, like the Ichiro, the 99 overalls for free, the Miggy, like whatever uh, inning programs you did, whatever collections completed, you pretty much have a pretty fire Nat team. So now, since you have a good Nat team, like a non-auctionable team, you could go ahead and play with the auction all day. That's the only reason why like I'm still playing this game because... I have so many stubs, and I just love flipping cards, uh, making profits, and all that good stuff. So, right now, I'm going to sell my team, even though they're mostly not. Most of my stubs are in investments, and a lot of my stubs go to packs, too. Like, I, all those pack opening videos are from investments. Like, I don't make stubs. I don't buy stubs. I bought stubs, like, in the beginning, beginning of the game. Probably the first month of the game, I bought $100 worth of stubs, and I turned it into millions of stubs. And all it is... Literally, the only way, like, you literally just have to follow baseball. That's why this game is so good. All you have to do is go look up at fantasy stats, type in the last month or the last two weeks, and literally, it's been working for me fine. Like, if you look at my roster update vids, I said Jose Ramirez is going diamond. I said all these players are going diamond. Who was right? I was right. All I do is look at stats and fantasy. Like, I know everyone's stats off the top of my head because all I do is fantasy baseball. And I'm addicted to it. I'm a freaking champion. I win. I'm in a seven-year league. It's my seventh year. And all I do is look at stats. How does Bugs know all this? It's just go to Yahoo Fantasy or any fantasy team. Go last two weeks, performance, rank, stats. It shows you all the stats. It's that simple. That's how you make stubs. Following real baseball. Um, Come to my videos. I'll tell you everything. Um, Pretty much right now, the hottest player to go diamond is probably Trey Turner. Hands down. For instance, I'm actually going to look at the live series, and I can tell you right now who I think is going to go diamond. Right off the bat, Trey Turner is a definitely a top candidate, as well as Shane Bieber. Um, Shane Bieber has a 3.2 ERA. He's about, what is he, 12-5 and five or 12-3, and three, one of those playing amazing. He has a good chance of going diamond. And as you can see, I uh, had a lot of him when he was bronze. I sold him. I cashed out when he was silver. I don't know why. He's about to go diamond. Also, Starlin Marte has been playing very well. Um... Honestly, yeah. So him and Trey Turner. The fact that Trey Turner is that cheap. And DJ LeMayo has a chance of going diamond. But the fact that Trey Turner is that cheap still kind of blows my mind. It's a very, very good way to make stubs right now. It's just go cashing out on some Trey Turners. Um, Kento Marte, very... I mean, he's been good the whole season. Does he go diamond this year? He has a great chance of going diamond this year. It's Kento Marte. He's been absolutely amazing. Also... Right now, if you Edwin Diaz, get rid of him. I don't even think he's... A, like, personally, watching as a Mets fan, Edwin Diaz, bro, I just don't know why we haven't traded him before the trade deadline. Like, he is so bad. Maybe he'll turn it around. But, like, when he pitches, like, I get the chills because I know he's giving up runs. I mean, I don't know. If you have Edwin Diaz, go ahead and sell him. You can't count on him going diamond again. But as you can see, we got a ton of trade turners. We just got more trade turners. I literally, I can't say it enough. Sell your team, pick up as many trade turners as possible. He is the cheapest player. His stats are amazing. Actually, you know what? If you don't believe me, I'll just read you his stats right in front of my face. I have his stats right on my phone on Yahoo Fantasy. So right here, Trey Turner over the last two weeks. 20 for 50 batting average. If you could do that in your head, that's like a four or three something batting average. High threes, low fours. He got four dingers over the last two weeks, a double, 13 singles, 13 ribbies, seven walks versus eight Ks. So over the last month, he's 40 for 114. So that average right there is way over 333. His batting average over the last month is great. He, in my opinion, is a top candidate to go diamond. And honestly, will he go diamond? I'm almost 100% certain. Maybe not this roster update, next roster update, possibly. If he has a really good week this week and keeps it up, he's going diamond. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoy. I'm getting ready for 2K, man. I got my setup ready. I got new speakers. I got a new PC. I got a new face cam. I got better quality. 
we're ready i got the green screen ready i'm breaking out the green screen on 2k if you guys could go drop the sub get ready for some 2k content gameplays every day just get ready man i'm telling you it's gonna be a ride we're gonna blow up when 2k comes anyways guys i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more vids just like the let smash the like button drop the sub follow me on twitter follow me on ig all that good stuff if you're a bugs fan go follow me on everything hope you guys enjoyed how it going peace